Today I want to do things a little bit differently. You guys by now know how I cover Gacha Revenue. I typically do the top 20 and then the bottom 5 most popular and least popular Gacha games. Today, we're going to be taking an objective look at the entirety of all reported on and covered gacha games. These are gacha games that we actively play. These, these are gacha games we care about. It'll be completely objective, absolutely no bias whatsoever to give you guys the best overall look of how gacha are doing over the course of the last month. If you're interested in being a part of videos like this, then follow me over on Twitch. Join me for streams, it's that simple. Now we got what is probably gonna be a very long video, so let's just go ahead and jump right in. Now I will point out before diving into this, revenue is not indicative of whether a game is good or bad, right? Just because a game is is making hundreds of millions doesn't necessarily mean it is a good game. Just because it only makes a million does not inherently make it a bad game, right? There are plenty of people that hate Genshin and loathe it, but it's still generally considered to be one of, if not the most successful gacha game in the world. Even though, you know, it has no end game, even though technically it has a lot of very predatory monetization present, even in spite of that, it is still the most popular gacha game for, you know, like two thirds of the year. Channeling Mrs. Sticks? At number one was Zenless Zone Zero for China specifically bringing in 68.8 .8 million. That is a phenomenal number. Now, I will point out, when Zenless was about to launch, people were saying online that it was gonna do terribly. They were calling out that it was going to fail. Evidently, by its almost 70 million Chinese opening, that is not the case. It made 31 million globally, so evidently Western players were not as thrilled with the game as Chinese players, but for a grand total, it made $99.8 million, just shy of 100 million. Now, comparatively to Genshin, Genshin made 230 million in its first month. Honkai Star Rail made 140, 150 million in its first month. If I recall, don't quote me, I, I, I'm pretty sure it was like around there. So technically this is Hoyo's weakest opening for a game and it is their least popular i guess like disregarding honkai star uh honkai impact now i i even with this in mind i think a hundred million for its opening month is a fantastic opener i like kudos to hoyo for creating a game that rewarded i think players with a lot of free pulls a lot of incentives to not necessarily spend as much because they did, they threw out like, I think they threw out hundreds of uh, free pulls at us, which were which were great because it allowed for us to not have to spend as much money, I think. I did 100 million in the first month being the weakest, it's crazy. I know, right? I know. Like 100 million being your least popular game is a crazy number. And again, that is, that is with all the people that were hating on the game. But again, these are the same people that hated on Wuthering Waves. They're the same people that hated on Honkai Star Rail. You guys remember, they were telling people, they were, you know, the gacha gaming subreddit was filled with people that were claiming Star Rail was going to fail because it was a turn-based game. It wasn't as popular as, uh, you know, like an action combat game like Genshin. Same people. Same people are humiliated. <laughs> so 100 million. Love and Deep Space in China came in at actually number seven. It managed to earn more than Zenless did globally. It made more than Genshin, Star Rail, Wuwa globally. It absolutely <laughs> destroyed them. I, th dude, this game made more money than, than like Genshin did in China and global. More than Genshin, like Honkai Star Rail made in China and global. More than Wuwa made in China and global. And it made it in China alone. It made... 36 million in China. In Japan, it made 1.4 million. Well, I mean, okay, evidently Japan doesn't really care. Global, it made 5 million. So evidently, this game made 40 million, over 41 million dollars combined. Damn. Coming in at number three is Naruto Mobile. Yeah, this has been a top five earner for the last like four months, five months. Averaging a minimum of 20 million per month. That is crazy. It made 24.8 million. Now, this is a Chinese exclusive. 
if this released globally, like, I think this game would do phenomenally. Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle comes in at number four with an increase from 4 million to 23 million. Dude, I think this is the first month in recorded gacha history since the release of Genshin Impact that Genshin has not been in the top four and Honkai Star Rail has not been in the top four. They have both been beaten by DBZ Dokkan Battle, Naruto Mobile, Zenless, and Love and Deep Space. What a time to be alive. Number, wait, number five is Monster Strike with 23 million. This is a, okay, that is, that is big. Okay, so Genshin Honkai Star Rail at number six. Honkai Star Rail in Global comes in at number six with 21 million. That is still, a, that is still a lot of money given Honkai Star Rail is uh, is in a bit of a lull period right now. Honkai Star Rail in China made 19.3 million, totaling what, 40 million? Okay, that's still, that's pretty good. It's down considerably, but still pretty good. But like Honkai is in a, or Star Rail is in a, is in a lull point right now, like between big patches. I, I don't think there's a character really that is, that or has been of any interest to people in the last month. So it makes sense. Genshin Impact. There we go at 19 million. This is the lowest it has ever earned. Globally, 18 million. Once again, the lowest it has ever earned. And I think this is actually, and Genshin is also suffering from that lull point as well. Like, let me know. I'm sure next month well, like when not long comes out i'm assuming this is going to spike back up to like above 50 million but i think the reason that genshin has earned so little and honkai star rail earned so little this month comparatively to previous months is because zenless actually cannibalized its earnings when honkai star rail came out if you guys remember genshin impact still made a crazy amount of money but when zenless came out both honkai and genshin impact revenue literally have so i think zenless actually to a quite a large extent cannibalized both games and also the fact that i mean like you know both games are in that point that period where nobody has anything to spend on so it's understandable all right then we have wuthering waves in china with 16.5 million which is a little under last month's 19.3 million so last month had the yinlin banner and the jinsa banner or sorry june had the uh jinsa and the yinlin banner and Changli alone carried this to 16.5 million. That is a big number. So clearly Changli was almost as popular as Jinsa and Yinling combined. <laughs> that makes sense. Nikkei boosted from 11 million to 16 million. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, I, Nikkei has been my favorite gacha for like six, eight months now. I understand why it's making as much as it is. Dragon Ball Legends, 15 million. Wuthering Waves Global dropped from 27 million to 13 million. That is a big drop. That is a drop of half last month's revenue, which is kind of similar to what Genshin and Honkai Star Rail uh, experienced. Now, like Genshin, like Honkai Star Rail, I will note that Wuthering Waves right now with its seven week patch is in a very dry spout too so there isn't anything to spend on we only have one limited banner character as well with Chongli. and from what people have told me there was also a under reporting of the first 48 to 72 hours of Chongli's release the banner release on the app store so that probably affected it to a several million degree I don't think that it would have affected it like to a point where it would have made like 25 or 30 million. I think it definitely would have probably added a few million onto it. I don't know how many specifically. I'm not going to attempt to even speculate here or artificially inflate this more than other people are online, but this is definitely under what it probably was. But even so, 13 million, almost 17 million, we're still a 30-ish million dollar minimum is still impressive for a an empty dry month with only one character that's pretty good to me i think zenless has done fantastic i think wuthering waves has done really good as well for a non-hoyo game i genuinely do not think that 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 any game from a studio that is not hoyo will pull in hoyo numbers I think it's kind of silly to expect that to happen. Just like I don't expect any MMO to pull in World of Warcraft numbers. Gakuen Idol Master came in at 12 million. All right. Uma Musume at 12 million, down from 13 million last month. Chat, we're getting Uma Musume Global. So I'm curious to see how that affects the total revenue for the game. Solo leveling Arise dropped by almost half as well from 19 million down to 11, but $11 million is still a crazy 
success. That is 100% still impressive to see. Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle in Japan, 5 million to 10 million. Oh, so Dokkan Battle made like 35 million then. Wow. Fate Grand Order Global boosted from 2.8 million to 10 million. I think this is the first time I've seen Global Fate Grand Order hit 10 million and then in japan 9 million totaling 19 million damn dude fake grain order is hitting crazy numbers all right blue archive at 4 million to 9 million okay that, that's good that's big we have puzzle and dragons at 9 million down from 17 almost having fake grain order china 8.2 million and japan 9 million that's 17.25 million almost 30 million for fake grain order totaling all three regions chat god damn light and night i think that's a husbando game as well yes it is made eight and a half oh 8.25 million dollars nice snow break up from two million to eight million wait what holy crap up 13 positions what no freaking way dude they tripled their revenue holy dude the the the, the marriage update holy crap See, this is why Tower of Fantasy is going the degen route, guys. Look what it does to your earnings. Oh my god. Horny sells? I know, yeah. God damn. Life doing work for real. Snowbreak breaking records? Dude, it is coming back from the dead. Snowbreak, look at this. It hit 800k. 8.3 million. From 800k to 8.3 million in four months? Dude, come on. What's global at? 300k to 1.4 million. Yeah, yeah, this is doing good. So it, it made almost 10 million across global and China. Almost 10 million for Snowbreak chat. God damn. Boobs works. Yeah, Snowpeak. Yeah. All the games are going to be hentai games by 2026. You're not wrong. Summoner's War dropped from 10 million to 7. Okay. Epic 7 from 3 million to 7? Oh my, that is a big boost. Holy crap. What happened in Epic 7 to trigger such a monumental boost in revenue? I think that's the first time I've ever seen Epic 7 hit about 4 million in the in the year I have been doing revenue videos. God damn. Hatsune Miku colorful stage from 5 to 6 million. Okay. Arknights, 8 million down to 5.5 million in China. Okay, it's kind of sad to see. Heaven Burns Red remaining uh, pretty... I, they, they, I feel like for the last six months, they have been at a steady, stable $5 million. Ensemble Stars from 3.9 to 5 million. Okay. AFK Journey from 8 million down to 5 million. AFK Journey is tanking, chat. Damn, almost having. That's... It's concerning. Dragon Ball Legends down up from 3.6 to 4.8 million. That's pretty good. Fire Emblem Heroes... A stable 4 million. One Piece Bounty Rush from 4.7 to 3.4. Memento Mori staying stable at 3 million. That's pretty good. Blue Archive Global raised from 2.7 to 3 million. Cookie Run Kingdom dropped from 4 to 3 million. Tears of Themis. Wait, that that's uh, that's a Hoyo game, right? Tears of Themis. Yeah, that's, that's a thing that came out before. Yeah, Hoyoverse. Before Honkai Impact. Raised from 1.6 to 2.7 million. Wait, hold on. Tears of Themis actually made more money than Honkai Impact and Punishing Grey Raven did. No freaking way. Reverse 1999 down from 5.5 million to 2.7. That hurts. Battle Cats, 2.5 million. Jujutsu Kaisen Phantom Parade down from 9 million to 2.5. Ouch. That doesn't bode well. Blue Lock Project World Champion, remaining stable. Punishing Grey Raven China. Up from 1.3 million to 2.5 million. They almost doubled in revenue. That is big. Almost doubled in revenue for Punishing Grey Raven in China. Nice. Still not, you know, like crazy numbers, but a game like Punishing Grey Raven in Honkai sitting at 2 million is a lot of money. Seventh Day Sage Grand Cross, remaining pretty stable in Japan. They'd have from 4 million to 2 million in global, though. AFK Arena stable at 2 million epic 7 china pretty stable pack to nowhere increase from 800,000 to 2 million in china that is over double nice brown dust 2 no brown dust 2 dropped from 3 million to 1.8 dude no way 
the most halved in revenue. That's crazy. Brown Dust 2 have sponsored three videos from me in the last four weeks. They've sponsored so many creators I know. How, how did they... How did the revenue decline by such a large margin? Princess Connect Redive boosted from 1.2 to 1.8 million. Azure Lane China dropped from 2.2 to 1.6 million. That's kind of sad to see, but Azure Lane tends to like gravitate to like a 1.5 million dollar earning per month anyway. You'd think though with, but oh, I guess Azure Lane's pretty free to play friendly, right chap? Persona 5 The Phantom X is not doing good in China. Not doing good at all at 1.6 million. God damn. Arc Knights Japan, pretty stable at 1.6 million. Final Fantasy VII Ever Crisis, stable at 1.5 million. Bleach Brave Souls almost doubled to 1.4 million. We covered Snowbreak Global already. Languisher, stable at 1.3. AFK Arena China, stable at 1.3. Honkai Impact Third China dropped from 2 million to 1.4 million. All right. One Piece Bounty Rush dropped from 1.5 to 1.3. Treasure Guys from 2.5 to 1.3. Okay, let, let's take a look at the, the games that we care about, right, chap? Azure Lane, 1.5 to 1.1 drop, $400,000. That's not horrible. I don't think. Tower of God New World. Oh, boosted from 700,000 to a million. Okay. Arc Knights Global down from 1 million to 900k. That hurts. Outer Plane down from 1.2 million to 900k. Dislight up from 700,000 to 900,000. That's impressive. Ether Gazer China up from 550,000 to 825,000. That's up by $275,000. So it's pretty good. Blue Archive China down from 1.1 million to 500K. Tower Fantasy China at 550,000. That's that's pretty low. That is very low chat. That is lower than <laughs> Ether Gazer China. That's lower than Dislight. That's lower than Tears of Themis, Azure Lane, Arc Knights. Outer plane? Okay, but that's just China. That's China. Um, Girls Frontline 2, 500k, down from 800,000. Okay, that's bad. Eversoul, up from 300 to 400,000. Reverse 1999 Global at only 400,000. That is, oh, that is painful to see, chat. That is not doing great globally. What else? Acocalypse down to 300k. Damn, and they're paying me for another sponsored video this month, chat. So <laughs> Where are they getting the money? Punishing Grey Raven Global, 300,000. That is low. That is five times lower than Honkai Impact. Damn. But Punishing Grey Raven is pretty free to play friendly, let's be honest. If they had like uh, a Hoyo business model, they might make double what they make. But maybe triple actually what they make. But 300K is not great, but given the business model, I think is pretty good. What else we got? Guardian Tales at a steady 200,000. Nice. Devil May Cry Peak of Combat at 200,000. Ha, <laughs> fuck that game. Power of Fantasy Global Chat. <laughs> Chat. <laughs> this is the These are great numbers. It's only at position, you know, 97. China did do a lot better though, from what we saw. But Global, <laughs> 190. But. All right, I, okay, let me, let me play devil's advocate here, okay? Tower Fantasy has, from what I've been led to believe, a predominantly PC-oriented player base, just like Wuthering Waves has. This is all speculation based off of what players have said. So, in theory, both games, maybe even Zenless, could have a significantly higher PC rate of spending, but... You know, based stuff of what we can see for mobile, this still looks really bad. And if mobile revenue almost halved, then PC revenue probably almost halved too, right? That makes that makes sense. Counterside half to 180k. That's bad. Here we go. Ether Gazer Global, $180,000 down from 290. 180. That is not great at all. Not great at all, chat. Nuru Cloud, 100K. That's actually positive because it went up in revenue. <laughs> Damn. Damachi Battle Chronicle, $40,000. Holy dear Jesus. One Punch Man World Chat, 31,000. <laughs> it's like one dude. And then we get down here. Higan Arathal has still not end of service yet. They're making 13,000. Devil May Cry Peak of Combat, 13,000. Gehigan Arithal Global, $10,000. The 
lowest earning gotcha game that is actively reported on and recorded. Gone Arathol. <laughs>